the launch of Shenzhou 19 draws people's attention to the infinite universe again, we couldn't help but ask how many galaxies are out there, how far are they away from us. This year marks the 60th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic ties between China and France. So we are honored to have Michel Marcelin, the Honorary Research Director of CNRS at Marcel Astrophysical Laboratory with us today. Welcome, Professor. I heard that you visited Wuhan in 2009. It's been 15 years. How do you feel about your second visit this time? Uh, I must confess that I was much impressed by the number of new buildings and especially skyscrapers that were not built when I came 15 years ago. And another thing, of course, was the number of cars and, as a consequence, the number of traffic jam. Uh, another thing that uh, I found uh, interesting is that you use more and more your smartphones for making many things and especially for paying. Now it, uh, it replaced money and it's something new for me. In France, we just begin to use our smartphones for paying, but here it's uh, now very common. What are expectations of this trip in Wuhan? Do you have plans to cooperate with scholars or universities? Yes, what I hope is uh, that uh, Chinese students come in France for their studies. And for instance, uh, yesterday I met students and professors at uh, the University of Wazong and uh, we discussed about the, our common studies. We are interested, for instance, in galaxies, which is my main uh, domain of, uh, of work. And uh, some students uh, asked me a lot of questions when I gave a talk about this the subge subject of uh, galaxies and what we call dark matter which is explains why galaxies rotate faster than indicate uh, than suggest the matter we can see and what I hope is that students who are interested by my talk will come in France for thesis I guess you must be very happy and proud to see so many young people are obsessed with the universe. What do you want to say to those young enthusiasts? What's your suggestion or encouragement? Well, what I suggest to them is even if they cannot uh, make uh, their profession, I mean, if, I, if they don't uh, become astronomers later, what is important is that they go on observing the sky and being interested in the new discoveries. And that, that's very important, to, to be aware of what is done, what is found, and stay interested in, in, the, in the progress of, of science. You devoted a lot of time and energy to popularizing astronomy. Why is this so important for you? Well, I think that it's very important for everybody to feel how small we are in this huge universe. And that, that's a, a thing, it's almost philosophy, I would say. And it's very important that people learn how the universe was born, how it evolves, how the stars uh, form, how they uh, create elements and, for instance, elements that uh, we have in our own body. And it's uh, something amazing to think that um, elements we, are, we have in our body come from the stars. And that's something I, I would like to people who really, uh, to actually realize and take, um, be conscious of this, uh, this fact. Well, I myself, I'm a big fan of astronomy and I really like the science fiction, The Three-Body Problem, written by the Chinese writer Liu Cixin, which was adapted into a TV series by Netflix. And many people became fascinated by the universe after reading it. How do you view this book? Uh, since I arrived in Wuhan, many people talked, uh, about, uh, talked to me about this uh, three-body uh, problem. But I'm, I've not read the, the book, I've not seen the, the movies, but uh, I know that in this uh, series they talk about, uh, well, it's a fantastic uh, story, but they talk about theories 
who are real. So even if the, the story is pure fiction, uh, it uh, makes reference to physical theories that are true. And what I find very interesting and important is that through this kind of books, people are interested, become interested in these theories. And yesterday, for instance, I discussed with the uh, general consul of uh, France in Wuhan, and he said that after having seen the, read the book, he went on other books to learn these uh, theories. And th that's very interesting. Yeah. So pe people will uh, come to complicated theories through this type of books. That's why it's very important to write these type of books. Well, I think these this writers and you, you are doing the same things. I mean, make it more uh, popular, make it more easy for people to accept the, the so-called hard, difficult astronomy, right? Yes, it, and that's a very good way to, to lead people and to make them uh, being interested in things that otherwise they would never have uh, been interested in. <laughs> Thank you, Professor. Thank you for sharing so much with us. Thank you.